doing great game and stud buffing athletes. Welcome back to the channel. Happy you're all here. Appreciate you. How you doing? If you're new here, by the way, before we go any further, it is obvious right now that I'm the most sexy alpha male elite gamer balls deep only halfway in on this platform. So hit that like button and subscribe. It's free. If you change your mind later on down the road, you can just unsubscribe. With that being said, let's jump into this video. Lock in, bitches. So it's been a couple of days now since Black Ops 6 officially dropped and I have been playing the game quite a lot. And I have had some good times and some bad times, but there are at least one really blaring weakness, one really huge problem. And there also are quite a few smaller and maybe medium problems as well. We got some 12 inch black Rambone dildo problems and we got some little Asian TT little small PP problems. And then we got the regular problems out there if to put it in a sexual connotation. I don't know why I just did that. Perhaps maybe I'm a closet gay. I'm going to be voting for Kamala coming up here. White dudes for Kamala, if you know what I'm saying. No, I don't know what I'm saying. So there's a one, <laughs> what the hell? There's one really glaring problem with this game. And I'm sure you've heard it before. I'm sure you're experiencing it yourself. And that is the maps. These maps fucking suck. And it's funny because there is a few really, really, really good maps. Like some of the best maps in Call of Duty history. There's maybe two or three really, really good maps. And then there's about, well, whatever, how many other maps there are in this game. I don't know. They all just sort of melt together as shit. Like these might be some of the worst maps in Call of Duty history. I have no idea what the fuck these trash developers were thinking. And I hate to say this. I hate to say this because I got to keep a real pack to steal. Blame Truth said this about a month and a half ago, talking about the maps and said they were going to suck. And then I was, and everyone else was, was calling him a rage baby LED retard helmet super driving beta male. But he was right. He was right, man. We all were saying he didn't know what he was talking about. He didn't play the maps. And he was right because he did say, like I said a couple of months ago, that these maps look horrible were made by AI. And I don't know who made these maps. I don't think I don't think a human made these maps because some of them, some of them do actually work out and are pretty awesome. But uh, the other ones, man, some of these maps, dudes, are like as if they're like Lego blocks put together at random. I, I don't understand the areas I'm supposed to go or not go and the flow of the maps and like certain areas where like you can crawl underneath stuff but then you end up somewhere else it has nothing to do with actual anything to do with the original map and it looks like you just put a bunch of pieces like i said of lego blocks of random pieces together like a kid with down syndrome or autism that parents don't want to take care of them so they just give them a bunch of lego blocks and say here you go little johnny build something the kid's like look what i made i made this amazing thing what do you think daddy this is how these maps look like they were made by down syndrome kids who eat glue and perhaps maybe shit their pants on a regular basis because these trash developers, I mean, if you did make these maps, I wouldn't claim it. I wouldn't claim I made these maps. I'd say AI made them or something because they are absolutely trash. So that is the one huge problem. Without that issue, I will have to say this. I'll have to keep a real pack to steal again. This game would be pretty good. Like, it's actually not bad. Once you start getting stuff ranked up, once you start unlocking things, once you actually get the flow of the good maps, and it's a lot of fun in some instances. Of course, of course. Skill-based matchmaking and all those issues and the sweats really seem to be a problem. But, you know, that's just Call of Duty now. So that comes with the, you know, the package. When you buy Call of Duty, you know you're getting the EOMM and the skill-based matchmaking and dudes running around acting like their life depended on it. Like, for example, whenever I see, like, dudes with Mexican names and they're jumping around the corners and sliding and acting like their life depended on it, I back the fuck out of those lobbies right away. There is no one more sweaty than I can say these Vato locals, cabrones out there, putos, madres, all those guys out there acting like as if, you know what, they win a game... They get a green card or some shit in America. It's it's too much. Mucho sueto, okay? So el gordo relaxo, por favoro, okay? Holy shit. If you're playing on PC, by the way, this is a big hit and tip for you. And you're using a controller if you're playing PC. I actually got told this by a dude in the lobby. And just some random guy gave me this intel and said, look it up, try it, and it will help you have a better gaming experience. It'll feel like as if the game is crisper. Feel like your controller is more reactive and not as delayed. Because I do notice there is a delay in this game. There seems to be some kind of input problem with it. Sometimes it starts to lag out, even though it says you're not skipping frames. It feels like you're playing at 30 frames per second. It actually says on your, you know, monitor when not you're playing at 150 and it gets glitchy and laggy and this one thing actually helped that in the sense you no know, not the lag and the glitching but helped make at least the game feel a little bit more intuitive and a little bit sharper and that is overclock 
your controller. I know it sounds crazy. I thought like, listen, I'm not a huge computer nerd. And I'm thinking like, okay, I guess. And the kid I was talking to in the lobby said, no, trust me. It takes you two minutes. It's super simple. It's safe. It's normal. Everyone does it. All the professionals do it. And I was like, okay. So I looked up a YouTube video. I saw Optic Shotzi. So I trust that guy. He's not going to give you some malware to download this. I hope not. And I overclocked my PS5 controller. You can do it with the Xbox controller on your PC. It, just trust me. Just type in overclocking controller on PC and it works. It'll be a really actually a big help for you. Okay. It's like a two minute long video. It takes no time at all. If you're not doing that, trust me, do it. You'll notice an actual big change right away. The responsiveness goes way up. But like I said, there are some technical issues with the game as well. I think they patched a couple of them. That was like the classes weren't selecting properly, or I'd select a class and it would just be some random class, the wrong class, or there is still a persistent problem that when you're trying to change your loadout in the middle of a game, it won't change. It just sticks with the class that you had before you enter the lobby, even though it shows you selecting different perks or different attachments for your gun it still will not actually change them so i don't know what's up with that that's kind of weird there are some out of the map glitches in certain areas where you can jump out the map which whatever i don't people want to make a big deal out of that but call of Duty's had those issues ever since launch hackers and one i have seen some videos on twitter on the uh, internet on the websites on the social medias that have shown some hackers some dudes using aimbot but as i have played so far in two three days and i've I don't know, I'll put quite a few hours into it, probably 20 hours, 15 hours into the game because I'm a fucking nerd trying to provide content for you guys and actually know what I'm talking about instead of, you know, not playing the game and then uploading X Defiant gameplay and then complaining about the game like other people out here not mentioning any names, but he may or may not be short man with a caveman head and drives a Subaru, but I haven't played the game a lot. And I haven't actually run into anyone who is like rage hacking or anyone who looks like the gameplay might be suspect. To be honest, knock on wood. That was my big dong, actually, because I got a hard slong right now. I make these videos come so fired up for you guys. Hit the like button, subscribe if you love big, heavy, hard, strong meat. Another thing that I do to circumvent skill based matchmaking, if you want to actually have the best chance of having the least amount of skill based matchmaking, and that is this do not play team deathmatch. Worst game mode you can find. That's where everybody goes. That's the biggest, largest pool of players, which allows the algorithm to mix up people based upon their skills and their skill-based matchmaking and EOMMM and all that nonsense. And the more players they have, the better skill-based matchmaking works. So if you want to circumvent skill-based matchmaking, play game modes that are other than team deathmatch and domination. You play the lesser known game modes. Free for all is not bad. It, I've found that it's not too sweaty. And another thing too, there seems to be a strong correlation between sweats and dudes who don't talk on the mic. When you enter into the lobby and you see also dudes names like visions with a double I and a Z or a TTV in someone's name or like words spelled with X's instead of the actual vowels that should be put there. That's a sign that you're in a sweat lobby. Also a sign that you're in a sweat lobby, like I said, is if you're running into people with no mics, no one's talking, or if they do talk, they sound like they got low self-esteem, low self-esteem rather, and they're trying to overcompensate by being overly aggressive and saying stupid stuff, but they look like, and they sound like, well, they don't look like, I don't know what they look like, but they sound like they look like dudes who are dorks who got stuffed into lockers when they were kids, and now they're trying to be all alpha online because they can talk shit and think they're, you know, somebody because they're good at a video game, but... I have, like I said, found a strong correlation between people talking and having fun and being less sweaty. That's another thing too. If you're getting your ass kicked back out of lobbies, eventually you're gonna get yourself easier lobbies than trying to fight the skill-based matchmaking. That's a trick and hint tip too. Hit that like button, subscribe right now for the Call of Duty number one hidden tips. How to circumvent skill-based matchmaking. Ghost of Vape bringing it to you hot here. Just like the ladies love it. Listen, the one thing I'll say that makes me a little bit biased when it comes to Call of Duty and whether or not I like the game that may not be relevant to you. And that is if the shotguns are fun, if they're overpowered, that game is fun to me. That's why I like Modern Warfare 3. That's why I like Sledgehammer games. That's why I haven't liked Treyarch games because usually their shotguns suck. However, I mean, there's only two so far, so I hope they put more in the game in the future with battle passes. But as it is right now, the Marine shotgun for me, after I got used to it not behaving the same as Modern Warfare 3, you can't quite play it the same way with that poor and crappy uh, sprint to fire time. You kind of have to take it a little more slowly kind of or, you know, put on better attachments. I love it. The Marine shotgun is fucking awesome. And for that, I give a biased review, I'm keeping it real right now. And uh, that's true. So, I mean, I'll be biased in a positive light towards this game because 
when worse comes to worse, I can pull out the shotguns on the small map and just decimate people. And that makes it fun for me more so than anything else in a game. Oh, yeah, yeah, one last thing, one last thing. Speaking of shotguns and all that stuff and making the game fun. Bro, can someone at Call of Duty who's watching this video, please, for the love of God, make the kill streaks great again? Can we make it dark kill streaks out here wearing the black with gold, keeping the kill streaks, making video games great again, making Call of Duty great again? Because the kill streaks, man, are the biggest point in the game. Like someone told me to play face off because those maps are cool. I don't play Call of Duty to not have kill streaks. I, re I can go play something else without the kill streaks. Kill streaks made and make Call of Duty. We need to remember that. And these kill streaks, man, can be a bit overwhelming to try to get if unless you're like some elite slayer from Mexico City. You know what I'm saying? With the name El Guapo. Gordo, henchman, El Capo Cantan, six six six. You know what I'm saying? I, unless you're those dudes, it's it's these kill streaks, man. Like they got to be more fun. They got to be easier to acquire. It's not so easy to shoot down. I hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? I do not like it. I do not like it, Sam. I am. I do not like it. Yes, I am. That's all I got to say. We're doing rhymes now. That means it's time to get the hell out of here with this video. Hope you enjoy. No, I don't hope. I know you enjoyed it. You know why? Because I'm the best. You're the best. We're the Gold Cock Army out here, packing steel, keeping it real, watching out for the judge who may or may not have a grudge, but last but not least, and most importantly, stay black, question authority, and don't let the honky cracker reptilian shapeshifters build in the moon base. They really are. Elon's gonna go up though. Harp, spraying, they're doing, they're, they're doing weather modifications. They've been spraying. Come on, we know that. That's what I'm gonna, you can even go online and find companies that will, you know, sell to governments to help cloud seed. They don't chem shells. 7-Eleven, love that store. It was an inside job. Gotta Google the Coke Tower 7, the Coke Brothers, up at Pima Grove. They are the worst with owls. Moloch, come on. Alex Jones, Bill Hicks, Floyd Turner, the Frogs Gate. White man, bring it down.